Well, welcome, Anisha, and thank you for your time that you uh, want to uh, collaborate and participate on this uh, webinar, uh, our first Microdose uh, Info uh, event. So, uh, yeah, well, can you explain me and tell who you are to the audience? Yes, okay, thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Um, so, uh, I am Anisha uh, Larsson from Sweden. And uh, I just completed um, a bachelor degree in psychology and cognitive neuroscience. So um, I wrote my bachelor thesis. And um, so I chose to look into uh, what microdosing has, uh, the effects of microdosing on mental health. And um, I have been focused on LSD and psilocybin. So... Uh, my um, essay has uh, just been completed, so this is very fresh data. Okay. And I also want to say that I work with this alone, as a, a lone student researcher and writer. And um, I got participants or, uh, from all over the world. So it's, it, uh, my aim was to uh, only do this research in Sweden. Um, and then I thought, oh, maybe I take Scandinavia. And, but then it showed that um, also thanks to your help that uh, my survey was just spread all over the world. And I was yeah. very uh, impressed that there were so many people who were interested in, uh, in yeah. participating. So uh, let's see, I will share my screen here with you. So uh, this uh, was the title of uh, my work that I did. Uh, I had 278 people answering and I boiled it down to 201 because um, of different reasons. That the, some surveys were not uh, completed. And um, there were 56 uh, female and 140 male who uh, responded to the survey and five people um, responded on other gender. And um, mainly, the participants were mainly between the age 21 and 30, followed by 31 and 40, and um, not so many over 60 were participating in, in this survey. And uh, the participants uh, came mainly from Sweden, followed by Norway and the Netherlands and Germany. A few from Switzerland, and then I had um, 22 people spread in different, from different countries. Um, and um, um, half of them, or a little bit, a majority was in a relationship, and uh, the rest were in um, were single. And then I also asked about the education level, and the majority had um, a university degree as the lowest education level, and uh, <clears throat> most of them were worked as employed or had a own company. Okay. So, uh, yeah. so I had um, uh, three main questions um, that followed through the survey, and that was uh, the motivation, why do you want to microdose, and uh, what was your experience, what effect did you have? I asked for positive ex effects and negative effects. Okay. So um, 121 uh, participants responded that uh, they did microdose LSD, out of these 201 who was uh, in the survey. And uh, they could um, tick off, uh, it was a multiple choices why, uh, why they wanted to microdose. So I, I thought that mainly people would uh, use it as self-medication if they were depressed or anxiety and, or, or were stressed, but that, that was on the fifth um, okay. level. And um, the main reason, uh, the main uh, reason of motivation to microdose LSD was um, to achieve general well-being, and uh, and followed by intellectual and creative inspiration to uh, increase the focus ability, and also to achieve the state of flow. And the positive experience of microdosing, 160 participants uh, responded, and uh, that was to they felt increased physical energy. Um, state of flow, they felt more open and uh, more aware of uh, about mm -hmm. themselves and their surrounding, and they also had a increased creativity and um, improved emotional balance. Okay, 
So maybe what is emotional balance, but I, I translate it as they um, have a better mental health. Yeah. So you feel um, balanced. 62 participants uh, wrote that they had also uh, adverse uh, experiences. So since I, I couldn't find any, uh, anywhere what, what adverse experiences you can um, have from microdosing, so I left this uh, question that people could fill in freely. They could just write in, in the little box. Mm -hmm. And um, out of these 62 uh, answers, I uh, took out um, the experience that occurred most of the times. So uh, nine people, they felt that they had difficulties to concentrate. Okay. And also seven of them said they had mild anxiety. And uh, six said that I felt tension in the neck and the jaw and the eyes, headache, and that uh, four of them actually felt stressed. Um, what was interesting also that uh, the people who felt the adverse effect also wrote that maybe it has to do, uh, to do with that um, the, micro, the, the amount of how much they took was maybe yeah. not a microdose all of the time. Maybe they took yeah. a little bit yeah. more. It seems like that they took a little bit too much. Uh, yeah, if you, if you have tensions and headache, because this is what you can get if you uh, take a bigger dose. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. that's quite interesting and uh, good to know. It's also good to emphasize. Uh, yeah, it's very important to, yeah. um, to really have the right dosage. Yeah. Mm. That's, uh, that's why it's so important to find your sweet spot and then, uh, yeah. Yeah. Those. Yeah. Um, the motivation of microdose and psilocybin, it was less people who microdose psilocybin. So 80 people only was microdosing psilocybin. Okay. And the five main reasons were general well-being to achieve state of flow here also, mm -hmm. um, intellectual or creative uh, inspiration and increased spiritual awareness. So this was not in the five top in the LSD, the spiritual awareness. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, but on the fifth, yeah. pardon? This is uh, significant also. That, that yeah. Is, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but also in the fifth place was to uh, do um, self-medication of mental health. If people were stressed or depression and, or an anxious, they took it because uh, to reduce that. So uh, uh, out of 75, 75 participants out of 80 said uh, that they experienced positive effect. The others, five of them did not answer. And the positive effects that they experienced was increased creativity, improved emotional balance, openness, awareness, state of flow, and physical energy. So, so what I understood here, it's a little bit different from what you experienced in LSD and yes. psilocybin. Yeah. Um, I it's come back to that. A, it's hmm? more of emotional, uh, uh, emotional balance and uh, openness and awareness that's more uh, with psilocybin, I think. Yes, that's what uh, I, I wrote that in, in my discussion that, um, uh, that people who took the LSD was more to uh, be more productive, be more, um, you know, alert in the daily life uh, at work. And the people who, who responded on um, psilocybin was more to um, relax and more, um, more healing, out of healing reasons. Yeah. So 22 participants, they responded ad, uh, on adverse effects and they, be, uh, they responded at, uh, three of them responded that they have, they became more sensitive to the surroundings. Oh, yeah. I felt that they uh, got more tired and mild anxiety, uh, worried and difficult to concentrate. So, yeah. so this was a few of these 22. So I did not include everybody because it would be such a long list, but because mm -hmm. they wrote different things. And then I asked questions about uh, the mental health. And um, um, so I had 124 people who, who did the self-diagnose uh, yeah. of anxiety and depressions. And there were also different uh, you can choose and you can also wrote if something else. But the top two was anxiety and depression. But uh, only 66, they... Um, uh, said that they had actually a clinical diagnosis with anxiety and depression. 
Um, and uh, more than half of the participants had received uh, some kind of uh, ter- form of therapy, like psychologists or psychiatrists, um, and some alternative um, therapies also. And uh, the effects uh, on the mental illness of those people, they said that 41 people, uh, persons, they had actually reduced anxiety okay. and reduced depression, and they felt reduced stress when they uh, microdose LSD, and also the same uh, of people that microdose psilocybin, that they actually felt reduced anxiety, depression, and stress. That's quite interesting because uh, Fadiman emphasizes that. Uh, he doesn't recommend people who have anxiety to use microdosing because, yeah, they tend to get more aware of their anxiety or they get more anxious anxiety. So that's uh, interesting that, that a lot of people uh, reduce their anxiety actually by microdosing. Yes, that was also very interesting because, <clears throat> uh, but it, it came on the fifth uh fifth uh, place, uh, the reason why you want to microdose and uh, what, to, what was your experience. And uh, actually so many felt that they reduced anxiety. But what, what's also, what they also wrote, some of them, that their negative feelings got more uh, enhanced or they, they felt it more when they were microdosing LSD. Um, but still, majority felt reduced uh, effects on anxiety and depression. Uh, this, uh, this is what, what I found out from this survey, so. Okay. Well, really uh, yes. interesting results, and thank you for sharing this. It's, uh, yeah, thank the you. fresh, your fresh data. Um, yes. Um, thank you for your time and for sharing your fresh data, and we'll speak soon. Thank you so much, and have fun on your um, day, your evening, yes. afternoon. Yes. <laughs> Okay, yes. thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.